This drawing is going to feature the input terminals of the contactors. I said in the other video that for this particular wiring, I used T1 and then T2 as input terminals. T1 being for live and then T2 being for neutral. So that is what I'm going to show in the drawing also. And then the outputs are taken from L1 for live and then L2 for neutral. Okay, so for the sake of the control diagram, again, in order not to make the wiring so complex, I'll be representing only the two input terminals to the contactor. And so I will use just T1 and T2 to represent the contactor. And then I'll also be showing this coil with terminals A1 and A2. Then the next thing that will feature in this drawing is the auxiliary contact. This auxiliary contact has four terminals. Two of the terminals are normally closed and two are normally open. And I will show how every wire is connected to each of these auxiliary contacts and what each wire is specifically doing in the wiring. Then the next thing that we show in this diagram is the timer. This is a timer I'll be using for the real wiring. And then it is fixed on this base. It is actually this base that will take the connections for the control wiring. And so I'll be using terminals two and then terminal seven. I will only feature the terminals that I'll use and I'll label them. So though here you can see four terminals, in the drawing, I will show only three. These two for neutral, and then D7 and 8 for live. And then I will also use terminal 6 here for the output. All right, so I have a comprehensive video on how you can wire this timer to a contactor. And then another video also on the different ways that the timer itself works. So I will recommend that you look for those videos at my channel and watch. I have actually shared those links also under the description of this video. And then the other things I'll be showing in the drawing are these indicator lamps. So each one will be connected for a particular supply so that at every time you will know which of the supply sources is giving out power to your loops. Okay, so just as I did in the drawing of the power circuit, I'll use this red pen to show all the live connections and then I'll use this black one to show all the neutral connections. So first, here, I'll use T1 and then T2 to represent my contactors. I said that earlier. Okay, so another one is here. Another one is here. Okay, so this is T1, this is T2. Here also T1 and then T2. Here T1 and then T2. Okay, it will be very helpful if you watch my first video on the power diagram before coming here. Because in that video, I did some connections to this T1 and then T2. Alright, so actually, as I did in the previous video, this contactor is working for supply 3. And then this contactor is working for supply 2. And then this one is working for supply 1. Okay, so supply 1, supply 2, supply 3. So the same way, this is contactor 1, contactor 2, contactor 3. And actually, I used live for T1 and then neutral for T2 throughout. The next thing I'm going to show will be the terminals for the various auxiliary contacts. Okay, so we have our first auxiliary contact, 1, 2, 3, and then 4 at one side. And then we have 1 two, three, four, at the other side. The second one also has the same one, two, three, four, on one side, and then one, two, three, four, on the other side. The last auxiliary contact also have one, two, three, four, on one side, and then one, two, three, and then four on the other side. Okay, so just as I showed earlier, 
two of these contacts are normally closed and then two of them are normally opened. So this is how it works. Here is normally opened. Here is normally closed. Here is normally closed. Here is normally opened. So normally opened, normally closed, normally closed, normally opened. And that actually applies to all the others. So here normally opened, normally closed, normally closed, normally opened. So here also normally open, normally closed, normally closed, normally open. All right. So each of these terminals will have a specific and a very important role to play. Now, the next item to feature in this drawing is the coil. All right. So the coils for each contactor. This one is coil three for contactor three. And then this will be coil two for contactor two. Here is A1 and then here is A2. This also is A1 and then this is A2. Then we have another coil here for contactor one. So this is coil one. Also A1 here and then A2 here. All right. Then the last item to feature is our indicator lamps. So we have one indicator lamp here. We have one here. And then we have one here. So let's say this is red for the first supply source. This is yellow for the second supply source. And this is green for our third supply source. All right, so sincerely, there are a lot of wires that are going to run in this diagram. And so I'll take everything step by step. First of all, we will look at the control arrangement for the first supply source, which comprises this, this, and then this. And then secondly, we'll look at the control arrangement for the second supply source, which comprises this contactor, this auxiliary contact, and then this core. And then lastly, we'll look at the third supply source, which also has a contactor, auxiliary contact, and then a coil. Okay, before I do that, I have to represent the timers. So we have our first timer here. All right. So this is our first timer. This is our second timer. Our first timer has terminals one, two, three, and four. The terminals on the timer that I'm representing in this drawing are four. The first one is terminal two. The second one is terminal seven and eight. And then the last one is terminal six, which will take the output to a coil. Okay, and the same thing happens to this second one. All right, so firstly, we are going to look at the control arrangement for this first supply source. So we'll be considering this contactor, this auxiliary contact, this call, and then this indicator lamp. As usual, red for all live connections, black for all neutral connections. So, first of all, from here, we will come here. And then, from here, we will come here, come here, come here. Okay, so I believe that is pretty simple. So from here, then we go to coil one.
So here, just as we did for the first supply source, Very well. So sincerely, this is how far I want to go with the wiring diagram of the control circuit for the three inputs change over switch. And in case you want the full video, that is the full wiring diagram with full explanation, kindly contact me on WhatsApp and I'll make it available to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please kindly leave your comments at the comment section and subscribe to stay connected. See you in the next video.